schools um, certain authorities and obligations, one of which is to review and approve proposed contracts for the position superintendent of schools. And so the way the process works is the way you were described in the resolutions, which is that after the parties reach agreement on terms they find acceptable, you submit it to the county superintendent of schools for review and approval, then the parties can execute the contract and um, the individual chosen can begin as soon as um, he or she can get out of whatever commitments they currently have. Um, I think if you've been reading about this issue in the newspaper, you know that several months ago, the uh, governor and commissioner of education proposed um, salary caps for superintendents, thereby telling executive county superintendents they can only approve contracts that fit within certain parameters. Then several months went by, and then that uh, set of guidelines was submitted in the form of, form of proposed regulation, which can't actually become uh, statute or code, uh, in this case code, until there's a time for public comment and the regulations are finalized. In the interim, as you may be aware, uh, various school districts recognizing how difficult it would be to recruit or retain talent when you're asking people to take on the position of superintendent and the additional responsibilities and salaries that would in many districts be not only less than they could currently earn, but less than assistant superintendents and principals are making. So various school districts were rescinding and renegotiating their sitting superintendent's contracts to provide for a certain level of stability and security um, while these regulations were pending. If these regulations are adopted as written, they will not be adopted until February 7th. Uh, about two weeks ago, um, when Parsippany was doing that, which many districts throughout the state are doing, that somehow caught the attention of the governor, and you saw his public comments about how outrageous he felt that he was a sitting superintendent looking to rescind and extend his contract at a salary that was, I believe, about $40,000 higher than the cap would be if the cap were instituted, which it was not. Therefore, what Parsippany did, while lawful, met with um, the disfavor of the administration. Shortly after that, the Commissioner of Education issued a uh, memo to county superintendents that they should not be uh, approving any contracts from superintendents who are in the process of simply rescinding and renegotiating their existing contracts. That memo says nothing about hiring new superintendents. Throughout this entire period of time, Hoboken uh, was engaged in the superintendent search, uh, selected Dr. Kovac as a finalist, and began the process of um, negotiating the terms with him. And um, the county superintendent was well aware of this whole as you know, has not had a permanent superintendent in about a year and a half. Um, so when this contract was submitted, there was no clarity as to whether that memo um, would cover situations such as homeowners, where you're not rescinding and extending the existing contract, but looking to hire someone. So uh, we asked um, Tim Brennan, the current uh, Hudson County Executive Superintendent, to get that clarity for us. And he submitted uh, an email to the Department of Education sometime last week, and I believe he followed up on it several times. Uh, he received a response um, this morning, and the response he received this morning is that um, he's not permitted to take action to approve any contracts. Doesn't matter whether you have a superintendent or not, doesn't matter whether it's within or outside the yet to be existent caps, you just can't take any action. I don't know what uh, thinking is behind leaving districts without a permanent superintendent, but that's the current position taken by the Department of Education. I know that Parsippany is uh, already litigating over that position, and they've been joined by uh, New Jersey Association of School Administrators, and I believe New Jersey School Boards Association is currently contemplating getting involved in, in that dispute as well. Hoboken's dispute is a different dispute. That blanket edict that you can't approve a um, contract between the board and the superintendent puts Hoboken and I imagine other districts in a very difficult position. Um, I want to make it clear that the county superintendent has been as cooperative as he can be. He's under a directive from his boss, and I want to make it equally clear that this is a blanket edict um, to not act on contracts. There's nothing about the proposed arrangement that's been accepted or rejected. There's just a position of no action for an untold period of time. Um, so as you could hear, the board is currently considering and will act on this evening. What action can take to protect its interests and to bring in Dr. Toback as its next superintendent of schools? 
um, until there's any action taken by the Department of Education or by a court of competent jurisdiction. Should the board pass those resolutions this evening, the board will have done all it can possibly do in this uh, current period of uh, temporary confusion. Thank you.